today guys welcome back to the channel today this is a video about yes watch winders so we have two examples here quite a different range in terms of price uh, so the one on the left is the ja1301 winder from gearbest so this one's courtesy of gearbest uh, for providing this uh, for review uh, the one on the left is none other than yup a wolf winder so this is courtesy of wolf 1834 or otherwise known as wolf designs uh, for providing this for review this is the meridian single winder 453870 so i'm going to review both of these and i'm going to start with the cheaper one uh, so the gear best one and let's get into uh, these products so this one actually comes in just a simple cardboard box so there's nothing to show in terms of packaging it's just cardboard and uh, polystyrene for the buffering and then that's all it comes with simple instructions and at the back you can see uh, it does have a battery compartment that you can use if you want to use battery power instead of uh, uh, plugging it in directly. So overall dimensions here is uh, 9.5 by 9.5 square, so 9.5 centimeters square at the front and the length is 17.5 centimeters and you can see here it's actually quite a pleasing finish I must say, you know I've quite enjoyed having this in the house, it is brushed uh, metal finish. It does have a plastic, transparent plastic door. There's nothing more than that. Uh, but you know, it serves to protect the watch from dust uh, settling on it if you leave it overnight for long periods. Um, so overall, this is a 50 USD option. Uh, pretty good pricing, you know, for a nicely finished winder from gearbest.com. Uh, um, the cushion options in this case. Um, there's actually two so one is actually a soft cushion and they say that you should use this with metal bracelets and fair enough you know that that's what you should use that for uh, but if you have a, a leather or soft strap watch then there's this kind of more solid uh, cushion option there okay so that's what it comes in in the packaging uh, it does come with um, a modular extension you can put more of these units together and connect this with the uh, the out you know the out source here and to and connect the, that to the end of another winder to to have multiple of these on your shelf all right so you've got that cable and then uh but lastly it actually has of course uh the power cable which in this case pleasingly is actually a usb and it's actually just a five watt usb meaning that you can plug it into your computer or laptop and it will actually power that but probably you wouldn't do that because you want to run that overnight or over long periods. The actual plug itself, uh, unfortunately, uh, is not suitable for Australian outlets. Uh, so you'd probably have to get either a converter or get your own five uh, watt USB output, which you know I can, you, you can find those anywhere uh, these days. So, you know, let's just plug this in and uh, I'll, I'll get the watches on the cushions. Okay, so that's into my power source and I'm just gonna plug this in and if I turn it on, you can see, right, it's going to start rotating. So I'm just going to turn it off here and just tell you a little bit about the options here. So hopefully you can see uh, the winding options there. So there's clockwise, anti-clockwise, or bi-directional, as with a lot of watch winders. Uh, overall, this will turn at about 4 minutes for every 30-minute cycle, and a total estimated rotation of about 1,500 turns per day. Um, the motor... It, I'm not sure whether this is a Mabuchi motor, and a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, the uh, you know, mid-range uh, quiet motors seem to be the Japanese Mabuchi rotor. I'll let you hear it. Right, so it's on now, and you c I don't think the camera is going to pick up the sound. It is actually pretty quiet uh, as you, you know, put this next to your ear. You can barely hear the motor, so maybe it is actually a fairly good quality motor. All right, let's just show it to you with the watches inside. So uh, with this one, you, you'd get a metal bracelet watch. And uh, so I'm just going to put this watch onto it. Yep, it is <laughs> it is my moon watch here uh, or the moon watch that I have in hand. Sorry, I don't have an automatic on me. This is what I have to show you. Uh, <laughs> comments invited about putting a moon watch into a watch winder. Okay, so in it sits, you can close the door if you want to, but I'm going to leave it open and as you turn it on, um, you know, obviously that's how it's going to rotate. Okay, so that's, that's the, uh, 
soft uh, cushion for metal bracelet watches okay that's really what that is I'm gonna put that aside now and then show you the other option which is kind of this more hard cushion so you would use a a uh, soft strap watch so over here I found my spinnaker hull really I really quite enjoy this I've been having this around still I'm not gonna sell that because I really like the look uh, particularly with this uh, you know this Varro strap actually I really quite like how it combines so anyway that, that's an example of a soft strap watch that you will put on and you know, I don't have to really show this to you I suppose but let me just get that in okay so there we have it it's slightly offset because uh, I think I've set the strap a bit long but you know this will work it's effectively 90 degrees from the floor and if you turn it on this is how it would be but you probably want to set that strap a little bit tighter just to make it sit more square okay so there we have it that's uh, this particular uh, watch winder pretty good package I must say overall uh, from Gearbest with the cushion options that it comes with so reminding you it comes with two cushion options it comes with its own power cables and you can use a modular option to extend it if you so wish okay so putting that aside now and moving on to the excellent wolf winder okay so wolf 1834 as it is kind of branded now they used to call themselves uh, wolf designs but you know since uh, a few years ago i think they changed it to officially wolf 1834 uh, uh, the origins, I believe, is actually German. Uh, it was actually uh, a man with the name Wolf uh, as a surname, uh, German origins. Eventually, they moved to Sweden and then to the UK. Originally, they uh, specialized in silverware and jewelry cases. But eventually, uh, when automatic watches came into play, uh, obviously in the 20th century, not so much in 1834, uh, they, they also branched out into watch binders. And they have a very massive range. If you take a look at their site, I was a bit astounded actually. So it ranges from as cheap as about 170 pounds all the way up to several thousands. Uh, and are they the best watch winders you can get? Well, you know, I think if you search any list of best watch winders, you'll find a wolf winder on all of those lists. That, that's what I've seen. Any list I've seen, you'll find a wolf winder on there. So arguably, they probably are one of the biggest names out there, if not the biggest name in terms of watch winders, especially with the top end products uh, that they do. So this one is just a kind of a mid range or even a low range winder. This is the Meridian single winder uh, 453870 model and this one retails for 279 pounds and links all below uh, if you want to check out their site of course um, and, and any other product sites which I can find overall dimensions so um, the the length over here is actually 15.5 centimeters right the width is actually 13.3 centimeters and the overall height is 17 centimeters so that, that's the dimensions of this one it's not huge you can see it uh, in my hands but you know look at the the wood frame that is covered with this piano black it is actually it's really just an, an excellent finish you know they, they really do good quality stuff uh, and looking into here you have textured silk finishing here and then this chrome controls really I, I've been impressed at the presentation of this wine there's no door here I mean they do have options with doors this one is just a no door option there's just a single large cushion there is no uh, other cushion options um, the packaging and I'll mention this it comes covered in this with nice wolf printing here so this this covers the winder as you open it out, out of the box which is this box here you know pretty nicely done I unbox this on the Facebook uh, page if you want to check that out uh, that video is still up so nice you know you know pretty nicely done box for something you probably wouldn't put back into the box i don't see myself uh, packing this back into the box uh, very much at all uh, but one thing i am impressed with is the power cable all right if you check it out this is the the ac adapter right transformer here and if you look at that um it's actually an australian compatible plug and that's because it comes with a set of international options and that is just a nice touch you know for you to pack this in with a winder give it international options so you can ship to an international audience it's just 
awesome. So I'm just going to plug this in and show it to you. So there it is in my power supply. Look at the back. Very nice and minimalistic. I like that, uh, you know, very modern, clean design there. And then take a look at the front now. So uh, it's off now. You do have three options as with the other winder, right? You have bi-directional, clockwise, anti-clockwise, right? That, that's really what that knob does. This one, you can turn it on. Right, and immediately you can see it's got this turns per day. So you can go anywhere between 300 uh, all the way down to up to 1200 turns per day. Uh, you get double the turns with the bi-directional. Right? That's just the way it functions. And it's got a proprietary motor. It's got a proprietary system that counts the, the turns precisely. That That's what they tell you. And as you go down, you can see it actually counts down. So it lets you know how many turns it's done. Uh, and it does kind of like uh, stop uh, after every few minutes and it goes through 30 minute cycles or, or thereabouts. Uh, the motor, as I mentioned, is proprietary. So it's very, very silent. It's got silicon gaskets and nylon gears. So you hardly he hear it with the seals they use on the boxes. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off now. Now the bottom option here is actually a delayed start. So 12 hours, 6 hours, all the way up to 72 hours if you so wish uh, in terms of delayed start. Uh, but most of the time, probably 12 to 24 hours will do for most of our movements, I think. So let me just show you how this fits. So this, uh, it does come in with a very, very large cushion here. Okay, so that, that's one thing to note here. So you're going to have to uh, you know, either loosen your metal bracelets or uh, loosen your soft strap watches. So over here I have this, this watch. Uh, provided by my mate Mitch. It's just lovely. I, I really quite enjoy that Helios Seaforth. Actually, I haven't reviewed this, but I'll put links if I do review it in the future, which I will. Uh, okay, so you kind of compress it and fit it around after you uh, kind of tie up the strap of the watch. So that's how it would sit on this cushion and then just put it in. Right, nice little click there and then go ahead and it's got a 10 second delay start for you to fit it in to the winder. And there we have it, you know, that's how it would look sitting on your desk with a watch in it. So there we go guys, that's the Wolf Meridian single winder courtesy of Wolf Designs. Uh, a very, very awesome uh, winder with proprietary technology, the likes of which I haven't seen. And I'm not sure many other winders have this technology. This appears to be one of the strongest brands in the market and probably a brand I would recommend if you want to get something of high quality. So guys, there we have it. That's my review of this watch winders. Let me know what you think uh, over here. You know, just a, a kind of standard winder from Gearbest all the way up to one of the strongest names in watch winder business, the Wolf. 1834 uh, Meridian Winder here. Guys, thank you for sticking with me. If you enjoy my videos, of course, consider subscribing. New Content Weekly, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me. And as always, I'll catch you next time.